I was very pleased to be asked to be part of this artist series. I'm primarily an oil painter. Working on landscape is what my primary focus is. I did a lot of outdoor painting, plein air. Um, I started taking classes at Newport Art Museum and that's where I discovered plein air painting. The color and the atmosphere are things you can only absorb by being outside in nature. For a long time, I did more straightforward uh, landscape painting, uh, more realistic, and now I spend more time in the studio, although I still do paint outdoors. You kind of reimagine your landscape. I work more from memory when I'm in the studio. Sometimes you really have to mess it up before you get back to it. It's just really about creating a sense of place. It doesn't have to be a specific um, beach or marsh. It's more about creating the essence of the place. I want people when they look at the paintings to feel that they're in a place that they know. A person viewing a painting connects to their past memories. That makes it personal and helps a person connect with a, a piece of art. I do tend to work in a series. It's just something that's evolved that way. Um, I have a whole group of paintings that were more of a blue nature. They were, or they were about water and a limited palette. We're using just turquoise and blue and some different grays and pinks. It's been a while since I've done a lot of paintings of trees, but I did that for a while. I don't know, you just need to change things up and um, keep giving yourself a new challenge. I always start on orange. This, this color here is the underpainting on all of the paintings. It works great with blue, and it's a complementary color with, with greens as well. I put down several layers of paint um, because I like to build up the texture on the surface. And I've been using um, a medium called cold wax. It's not encaustic, you just add it to the paint. I always tell people it looks like old-fashioned white school paste. It's, it's beeswax with a little bit of turpentine in it, made by Gamblin. Um, and you can mix it 50-50 in the paint if you're working on panels, and a little bit less if you're working on canvas. Cold wax makes the paint a bit thicker, and um, a little transparent, depending on how you use it and you can um, build up layers and then scrape down um, and get the colors that are underneath. So I also often start with a group of dark colors underneath and lay out composition, kind of tell me where I'm going, and then start to add the lighter colors on the top with the cold wax and scrape down into it, create some kind of um, random, a little bit of randomness in the landscape. There's a lot of um, underbrush and different kinds of things going on and, and it doesn't have to be a specific plant or a tree. My, my teacher used to call it the junk in the front. <laughs> 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 but um, yeah, just um, pushing the paint around, you're not really sure. I mean, when you're painting, uh, when I'm painting, I'm not painting to a specific thing. You're not really sure what's going to happen. You move it back and forth, you cover it, you uncover it, until it creates the effect that you're looking for. My paintings are of mostly uninhabited places. Once in a while, there's a distant house in, in the landscape, but it's really about a very peaceful, tranquil kind of place out in nature.